The Weekend in Jacksonville is presented by Stone Core on Phillips Highway, your one-stop choice to beautify your home. With pavers, stonework, outdoor kitchens, fireplaces, pergolas, and more. Stone Core, we do outdoors better. Hello, Hicken here, ready to take a look at all things Jacksonville sports this weekend coming up. Man, hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Hope you all looking forward to a Happy New Year. Uh, of course, our report brought to you by Stone Core and the beautiful Bernie Grill. Oh, what a great gift that would make over this holiday season. Let's start with the Jaguars. Do or die, go or not. I'm, I'm, I'm mentally exhausted from this football team, but I'll be there Sunday. We'll give it one more try. See if they can win. See if they can find a way. See if they can put together a W. They probably got to win them both. But there is a clinching scenario. But first things are, I hate to take talk about the playoffs. I feel like Jim Morris Sr. Playoffs, you know. Um, but listen, Carolina's the worst team in the NFL. They're 2-13. and 13. Go win. Just go win the game. All right? Take it one play, one drive, one quarter, one half at a time win the game, get the victory, let the smoke clear, see where you stand, and know at the very worst, you'll be going to Tennessee with a chance to win the division. At the very worst. And if things happen, you got to win Sunday, though. If you lose, just don't even forfeit the Tennessee game. You're not winning at Tennessee if you don't beat Carolina. I don't have a lot of confidence, but I'm hopeful. All right, quick thing about the Gators. Uh, Billy Napier's making moves. He's doing things. Everybody's mad at what he's doing. Nothing is ever good enough for those guys. And I get it. Three straight losing seasons. We're in the abyss. We're trying to crawl out. I'm going to hold out hope. I told you this the last couple weeks. I got to have hope. I got to have hope. If I don't have hope, I don't have anything. They got a, they got a new strength coach. They, looked, they didn't look as physical as they should the last couple years. They got a nutritionist. Uh, they've got two new defensive coaches. Uh, I assume the OC is coming. They can't possibly be done in the portal. So we'll see. We'll see. Again, I can't ask for patience. I don't blame you if you don't trust him. I don't blame you one bit. But we got what we got. He's coaching next year. I got to get on board. Last thing this. You all know I don't like FSU, but I feel sorry for the Seminoles. I do. And it's not fair. It's 100% not fair. And I told you all along I would have put them in in the the Final Four. But I wasn't the guy in charge. So now, here's what's going to happen. They're down everybody, and they're going to play Georgia. And let me tell you what Kirby's doing. He's got Carson Beck, and he's going to put a number on FSU. They'll show no mercy because he's telling them that loss to Alabama is the reason we're playing this game. You take it out on them. The season starts now. We're going to be 1-0. and And that's what they're going to do. And they're going to lose a couple guys, Brock Bowers, Mims, the offense. But Florida State has lost everybody. And then people who don't follow the game are going to say, see, this is why FSU doesn't belong when they get blown out by Georgia. You know, it's just not fair. And I I do. I Actually, it's not right. And I feel sorry for them. And it's a crappy system and a crappy hand that they were dealt. So good luck. I don't know what else to say. The Orange Bowl coming up on Saturday. Hey, that's all the time I got. Kick back, enjoy. Lots of football this weekend. Jaguars, you must win. Do not lose two in a row. Do not lose six in a row. If you lose two more, if you lose these last six in a row, this is long-term ramification stuff, peeps. Take care of business, Doug P. and Trevor. Peace out.